Hello friends, welcome back to our channel, Neat Biology Expert, I am Dr. Parveen. In this lecture series, we are studying class 12 biology chapter, sexual reproduction in flowering plants. In this particular lesson, we are going to study about double fertilization and significance of double fertilization. Right, so this double fertilization is a very complex type of fertilization and this mechanism occurs particularly in the angiosperms, only in the flowering plants. So, this was first discovered in 1898 by Nawashin. Nawashin discovered this double fertilization method occurring in the angiosperms in the year 1898, particularly in the flowers like Lilium and Fritillaria. These two are the Lilium and Fritillaria flowers. Right. So, what is double fertilization? What is the definition for double fertilization? It is the fusion of two male gametes brought by the pollen tube to two different cells of the same female gametophyte in order to produce two different structures. It looks something very confusing by just looking at the definition, right? So once you listen to the lesson carefully, it's a very, very simple thing to understand, okay? So I will explain you in detail, don't worry. So here in the double fertilization, what happens? We know that the pollen tube is bringing two male gametes. So, these two male gametes are going to fertilize two different cells of the same female gametophyte. So, why? Because they are going to form two different structures. That is the ultimate goal of double fertilization. Okay. So, one is going to be the zygote and another fertilization results in the endosperm formation. So, these are the two different structures which will end up in the double fertilization. Right. So, let us understand this in detail. So, look at the structure here. This is a stigma. Okay. So, when a pollen grain falls over the stigma, once it recognizes that it is the compatible pollen grain, it permits the for pollen grain to form the pollen tube. Right. So, the pollen grain forms the pollen tube. So, it grows and grows and just comes like this. Okay. And it moves towards the micropylar end. So, we know that these three different types of uh, routes of entry of the pollen tube to the ovule. So, either it may end through the micropylar end which we call as porogamy or it may end through the chalazal end which we call chalazogamy or the pollen tube may enter through the integuments that is called mesogamy. So, whatever the route of entry finally they enter through the micropylar end and uh, just penetrate the synergids and release out the male gametes. This is what ultimately going to happen. So, in majority of the angiosperms, porogamy is the root of entry of the pollen tube. Okay. Here, we must understand a word or terminology called siphonogamy. What is siphonogamy? The non-motile male gametes are carried through the hollow pollen tube. This is called siphonogamy. We know that the male gametes produced by the angiosperms are non-motile, but it has to reach the female region. Okay, so how it will reach? They are non-motile. They don't have any tail like a human sperm. So how it will uh, reach the female uh, region? It is through the pollen tube. Okay, so this pollen tube actually carries the two male gametes and just brings the male gametes. As it grows, it brings the male gametes towards the uh, egg. Okay, so this is actually called a siphonogamy. What is siphonogamy? The non-motile male gametes are carried through the hollow pollen tube. This uh, process is called as siphonogamy. Okay. Now, in order to understand what exactly happened in a double fertilization, we must first know the structure of a mature embryo sac. Okay, so we already studied this is the structure of a mature embryo sac. This embryo sac has three cells in the chalazal region. They are called antipodal cells and just opposite to the antipodal cells, antipodal region are the micropylar end which has two big cells. They are called synergid cells. On the uh, synergid cells, there are some finger-like projections, right? So, they are called filiform apparatus, right? So, here at the micropylar end, there is a third cell. This is the egg cell. And in the central cell, there are two nuclei. They are called the polar nuclei. So, this is the structure of a mature embryo sac. Okay. Now, what is going to happen exactly? So, see, a pollen tube is coming like this. And it is coming and entering the 
female embryo sac through the micropylar end through the synergid one of the synergid like this okay so this is the pollen tube pollen tube so what is this pollen tube exactly bringing it is bringing two male gametes now one male gamete is going to fertilize the egg cell and another male gamete will swim further and going to fertilize this two polar nuclei. So these are the two events which occurs in the double fertilization. Double fertilization has two important events. The first one is syngamy. What is syngamy? The egg cell is there, right? We have the egg cell here at the micropylar end. So the pollen tube ruptures and releases the male gamete. So one male gamete is going to fuse with the egg cell. The egg cell is in haploid and the coming male gamete is also haploid and they join together and form a diploid zygote two n zygote so this is the first event occurring in the double fertilization right and what about the second male gamete two male gametes are entering via the pollen tube right what about the second male gamete it is going to fuse with the two polar nuclei we know that in the central cell two polar nuclei are there so the two polar nuclei are there. Now the second male gamete is going to fuse with the two polar nuclei. So the two polar nuclei is already N N, right? N N. So two N plus another one male gamete. Yeah. So it results in the three N. It is called an endosperm. Clear. Yeah. So this is called as triple fusion. Why we call triple fusion? Already the two polar nuclei are having two nuclei, right? So, this is 2N plus 1 new male gamete, another N. So, which results in 3N. That is called triple fusion, right? So, these are the two events which exactly occurs in the double fertilization. So, let us see the first event that is syngamy. What is syngamy? The fusion of the egg cell with the male gamete is called as syngamy. Okay, right. So, look at this picture here. Now, the pollen tube, this is the pollen tube is coming like this and it is bringing two sperm cells, two male gametes are there. Okay, so where this pollen tube is entering, it enters via the synergid cell. Here, one synergid cell, here, one synergid cell. Through any, any one synergid cell. So, it enters the synergid cell. So, once it enters the synergid cell, it absorbs the water from the synergid cell. Okay, the pollen tube absorbs water from the synergid cells and it ruptures. So, once it ruptures, that is the end point of the pollen tube. It won't grow further. So, it ruptures and releases two male gametes now inside the cell. Okay, so here the first male gamete go and fuse with the egg cell here. Here is the egg cell, right? So, the first male gamete go and fuse with the egg cell. Okay, so this is called as syngamy. Fusion of a male gamete with the egg cell is called as the syngamy. So it results in the formation of zygote, which is 2N in structure. Let us understand this by our own diagram. No need to see other diagrams. Okay, so, so just observe this. Okay, I'm just drawing a mature embryo sac. At the chalazal end, the mature embryo sac has three cells. What are these three cells? These are the antipodal cells, which are present in the Chalazal end. Okay, so at the opposite end is the micropylar end has two big cells which are called the synergid cells and behind there is one cell that is the egg cell. This is the egg cell, right? This is the synergid. Okay, in the center what is present in the center? Two nuclei is there that is the polar nuclei. Polar nuclei. Now what happens? The pollen tube is bringing two male gametes okay i'm just drawing a pollen tube it is bringing two male gametes so once in the pollen tube enter via the synergy it ruptures and releases two male gametes so the first male gamete go and fuses with the egg cell right so this results in a zygote formation this is exactly called syngamy what about the second nucleus the sorry what about the second uh, male gamete the second male gamete further moves and go and it fuses with the two polar nuclei present in the central cell okay so now the second male gamete fuses here and this results in the formation of 3n that is called as the triple fusion this is the second unit okay right so the second gamete migrates to the central cell and fuses with the two polar nuclei so in some in some 
plants what will happen in the central cell two polar nuclei are there so they already get fused they already get fused and they will be in a structure called secondary nucleus secondary nucleus okay very simple in some plants the central cell has two distinct polar nuclei two distinct polar nuclei so what happens here the coming second male gamete go and fuses with the polar nuclei and form three yeah. or in some plants already those two polar nuclei get fused that structure is called secondary nucleus now the upcoming male gamete fuses with this and form the three end endosperm okay so this is what exactly occurring in the triple fusion so why we call this as triple fusion because two polar nuclei plus one male gamete three nuclei are involved and they are fusing together so that's why we call this as a triple fusion okay here there is an another terminology called primary endosperm nucleus that is in short form called pin so what is pin this is pin this 3n what we call as endosperm is pin okay primary endosperm nucleus it is just a fusion of the two polar nuclei and a male gamete or a fusion of the two, uh, secondary nuclei and the male gamete this structure is called as pin okay so since here three nuclei are involved this phenomena is called as triple fusion so what is the end product of the triple fusion the end product is the formation of the endosperm so what is the endosperm the endosperm is the structure which is gives the nutritive tissue to the growing embryo okay so let us see what we have seen in the uh, double fertilization so in the double fertilization two events occur so the first event is the syngamy so what is syngamy the pollen tube is bringing two male gamete the first gamete fuses with the egg cell and forms a zygote the zygote is going to develop as the embryo okay so this process is first called as syngamy so followed by the syngamy the second male gamete further moves inside the mature embryo sac and it uh, fuses with the two polar nuclei this is already 2n and it fuses with the male gamete and form the 3n that is the pen 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 structure primary endosperm nuclei so this structure is going to develop into the endosperm what is endosperm endosperm is the nutritive tissues they are the food storage reservoir for the growing embryo so these are the two things which occurs in the double fertilization so why we call this as double fertilization because in the angiosperms two male gametes are produced and both the male gametes are involved in fertilization so one gamete is fertilizing the egg the another gamete is fertilizing the uh, two polar nuclei so that's why this is called as double fertilization clear so what is the significance of the double fertilization this is a unique feature which occurs only in the angiosperm so the angiosperm produces two male gametes so both the male gametes are released and they are successfully uh, completing its fertilization okay so here why double fertilization occurs because in first fertilization the zygote that is the embryo is formed and in order to support the growing embryo the second fertilization end product that is the endosperm act as a food storage reservoir okay so once the embryo grows it needs food right so they take up the food material from the endosperm okay so and also here the triploid pen develops into the nutritive endosperm tissue also double fertilization helps to avoid polyembryony what is polyembryony more than one embryos are not formed in this double fertilization how because the pollen tube it brings two male gametes so one male gamete fuses with the egg cell and forms the embryo the other male gamete fuses with the polar nuclei and it forms the endosperm so there are no free male gametes so it prevents the polyembryony Okay. so that is the significance of double fertilization so i hope this lecture is clear for you our next lesson will be about endosperm so if you like this lesson like comment share and subscribe to our channel meet biology expert thank you